All right. Here we go, ladies and gents. Phoenix coming up. And we're going to be playing him against Artanis. All right. Phoenix uh, has made it to the PTR. It's March 19th on Monday. He should be on live service March 27th in North America and March 28th in the wee hours of the morning in Europe. Phoenix is a ranged assassin and you should have previously seen his spotlight. You should have previously seen his spotlight in my YouTube preview of the PTR notes. This is going to be the first game with Phoenix. But first I want to stitch it together with this PTR overview. So it's PTR overview now of Phoenix in try mode. And then we'll have the played game right after this. So first of all his abilities. We saw this in the spotlight already but here we have Plasma Cutter. Create a laser beam at the target point that circles around Phoenix twice. So you can see that wherever you press it, it's in a circle. It can be right around him. Of course, I have game sounds off right now. It will circle twice and it deals 156 damage to enemies hit, slowing them also for 25% for 4 seconds. Pretty cool. Uh, then there's weapon mode repeater cannon. Basic attack speed increased by 150%. And we can see that right now our attack speed is... 185 per second and uh, basic attack range 5. Now if we switch we become weapon mode face bomb. We now have a range of 6.5 getting 1.5 extra but we only have an attack speed of 0.74. We do deal more damage 130 per hit and splash otherwise we have only 104. So we'll try out the face bomb attack here on the minion wave and see how that looks. Glory for no one. Cool, 130 on everything. And now we'll try the other one. Single target or splash and range. Cool stuff. We go to warp. It's a 15 second cooldown. We can warp to a targeted location, phasing out after a half a second and arriving three quarters of a second later. So for, for a quarter of a second, we're off the map. Cool stuff, really reminds me of the Protoss Dragoon cinematic, where they see a single Dragoon on the radar, and the Terrans are like, bar, and they kill the Dragoon, but then way more units appear and they devastate the Terran base camp in the StarCraft 1 campaign cutscene. Now let's take a look at the heroic abilities in action. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Purification Salvo, it's a one and a half second channel that sweeps a laser in front of Phoenix and it will lock on to enemy heroes. Once channeling finishes, you fire five missiles at each locked hero, dealing 120, 127 damage each. Deals 50% increased damage to slow targets. Keep in mind you can slow someone with Plasma Cutter or any of your allies. Well, that was rather entertaining. As ordered, I emerge victorious. Acquiring targets. That's really cool. We'll try that again. Acquiring targets. Note that you can move during it. Without hesitation. And does it matter how far out of range I go after it? Targets. It does not matter. Acquiring targets. That's really cool. Seems like a strong ability. The total damage is 5 times 127. With 50% more if they're slowed. Wow, good, really cool stuff. Now let's take a look at the other one. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Planet Cracker. The range is infinite. The amazing sound effect. Amazing sound effect. I love it. You feel really powerful when doing it. It it hits non-structures. I love it so much. 
The cooldown is 100 seconds. Great stuff. Great work on this one. Hold position. 100 seconds. Purification salvos. 75 seconds. All right. Now let's take a look at the talents. But first, the most important stuff. Dance. Hearthstone. And of course... Cool stuff. Now let's look at his uh, talents. Quest. Hitting enemy heroes with Plasma Cutter permanently increases Phoenix basic attack damage by 1, up to 80. After you hit 30 heroes, Plasma Cutter circles an additional time. Choose a talent. We'll complete the quest and see how that looks like. A killing blow. Also note that you can auto attack during plasma cutter. Choose a talent. We now have 80 bonus damage on our baseline thanks to advanced targeting. So that's pretty Choose cool. A Look at the next one. A Arsenal talent. synergy. After hitting enemy heroes with basic attacks three times while repeater cannon is active, which is the bonus uh, attack speed. The next basic attack damage with face bomb Deals 100% more damage and splashes in a larger radius. Let's look at the, the the speed with which you can switch between modes. Half a second. I wonder if they have separate attack cooldowns. Let me test. I need to test. It seems like when I switch from the quick attack to the splash attack, it needs to wait for the full duration until I can shoot it. There's that wind up. So you attack three times and then your next is big damage. Okay, cool. Yeah, the cooldown is shared. <clears throat> cool talent. Mobile offense. After moving unmounted, Phoenix next basic attack deals 30% more damage to heroes. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Okay, so the funny thing is, it's not perfect. You don't need to stutter step well, you just need to move a bit. But it's not infinitesimally small either. If I move a little bit, it's not enough. 193 is the baseline. I move a tiny bit and it doesn't count. So there's a minimum amount of movement that is apparently necessary. See, this is not enough, but this is. A little bit is fine, but a tiny bit it isn't. Interesting, interesting. Now let's try with the other mode. You can see that it's uh, it's not perfect. You can get a feeling for it, but most of all it's not consistent. Like, I, I, I get the feeling for it immediately. I know how to do it. But I also know how to not do it. Tiny, tiny movements. So about 70% of the time when I'm trying not to hit it, I succeed in that. So it's a bit clunky. I think they need to improve it a little bit on the technical end because the way it reads, you expect it to work if you move just even a little, but apparently a, a tiny bit isn't enough. But still, 
I know how to proc it, just get good at it and it's fine, but they do need to fix that part. Going to the next part, basic attacks against slowed heroes with repeater cannon, and that's the quick one, grants 10% movement speed for 4 seconds, up to 40%. Choose a talent. That seems strong. And keep in mind that you slow them for 4 seconds with this and you get a 4 second movement speed increase stacking. So essentially if you get your 4 hits off you'll have 40% move speed for 5 seconds, 30% for 1 second, 20% for 1 second and 10% for 1 second roughly. But you attack faster than once per second. So it's more like almost, you have like six seconds, you have 40% move speed. And before that, it's rapidly scaling up. So overall, you have eight seconds of bonus movement speed, mostly 40% and a little bit less at the beginning. But that's overall very strong. That's over mount speed. And it's not difficult to proc. Pretty cool in terms of kiting. Looking at the other talents. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. While face bomb is active, and face bomb is the range, the traditional StarCraft 1 Dragoon attack style. Except that there's now splash. Basic attacks against heroes slowed by the plasma cutter. Slow all enemies in the area by 35% for 4 seconds. I see this guy is slowed, but those two are not. Because I didn't pick it yet. Choose a talent. Okay, it works. All three are slowed. You can see by the purple were Choose a talent. Warp Choose conduit. Talent. Hero takedowns reset warps cooldown. Interesting. Simple and easy. When shield capacitor shield becomes depleted, gain 30% movement speed for 5 seconds. So my shield count is... 103... 264, 1264, which it also says here. So my shield count, oh yeah, 1264 shield, and when it's gone, I get mount speed for five seconds. Cool. And there's a bar here as well. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Good stuff, good stuff. Choose a talent. Okay, easy enough. Uh, combat advantage. Plasma cutter deals 50% more damage to slow targets. Oh, okay. So either your initial hit can deal more damage if someone else slows them first. Or your secondary, maybe tertiary hit if you get the triple uh, the triple loop. Uh, this on. If you get the triple loop, it's your secondary and tertiary that deal more damage. Choose a talent. Secondary, tertiary. Okay. F simple enough. What's wrong with tertiary? It's tertiary? Third, like poop? Anyway. After arriving with a ward, uh, with a warp, gain 125%. <laughs> Tertiary? What? No way. You guys are trolling me. Wait, I need to look this up. That's how you know someone learned a word from a book. Tertiary. 
tertiary. I've never known that. I learned it from a book. Tertiary. <laughs> oh, the English is so funny. All right. After arriving with warp, gain 125% attack speed for four seconds while in repeater cannon mode. Okay. Let's try that. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. I like it. And there, I'm starting to feel some talent synergies. Have you heard Dutch? Yeah, I've heard Dutch. It's pretty funky too. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Divert Choose power talent. weapons. Activate to instantly drain shield capacitor shield, but increase basic attack damage by 80% of the shield drained. For five seconds. Choose a talent. So my shield is 1264. Best defense is a good offense. Uh, I feel no enemy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. As you will. Diverting power to weapons. Eighty percent. Of the shield drained. But I just drained 1264. Shouldn't I deal a thousand damage a hit? Eighty percent times the percentage of the shield. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. I mean, if I was, if someone asked me to buy this talent for ten dollars, I would do it based on the wording. One thousand a hit. I'll pay to win for that. Okay, so it's either eight percent bonus damage, huh? Because my damage is hundred fifty-four. And with this, 80% times 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do 80% if it's full. But it's 80% <laughs> of the shield tree. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to do 1,000 damage per hit, but I feel like people might complain about it. <laughs> All right, that's clear. So if I have half shields, I'm doing 40% bonus damage. Clear. Understood, understood, understood. Okay, now the heroics, we've seen them. And now we move on to level 20. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. <laughs> Choose a talent. Choose a talent. After arriving with warp, gain 40 armor for four seconds. Choose a talent. One, two, three, four. As advertised, I would pay $10 for that. Phoenix gains 15 spell armor while he has shield from shield capacitor. Yeah, not bad. I like it. Choose and I want to see talent. how it looks. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Where is my purple glow? Maybe after he ability me. Can you ability me, senpai? Ah. Anyway, you see it here, huh? It works. And then the next. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Rapid recharge. Whenever Felix. Felix? <laughs> Meow. Whenever Felix. Oh, I want a Felix skin now. Like a cat head on four spider legs. Whenever Phoenix is healed, shield capacitor shield recharges for 20% of the healing received. Um, you know that feeling when you read something but you're not absorbing it because you're thinking about something Without else? Hesitation. I'm still thinking about the cat. The uh, shield capacitor shield recharges for 20% of the healing. Oh, okay. 
So it's like amp heal for 20%, but it's it goes to his shield. That seems bad. Wait, is it bad? Yeah, it's bad. It's like worse. It's a conditional worse amp heal seven levels later than where they used to have it. Nine levels later. It's really bad. Look. Before, heroes got amp heal at level four for 30%. This one is 10% less, it's only 20, it comes 9 levels later at level 13, and it's only counting if his shields are not already full. So although you get 20% more healing via the shield, it's bad. It's much worse than Amp Heal. Now you can say Amp Heal has mostly been removed from the game. This is true. You don't complain about a Lamborghini that you can't afford if all you can get is a Mercedes. It's like, oh, it's not a Lamborghini. Yeah, but you're riding a Beetle. Okay, fine. But still, it's really bad compared to Amp Hill. Uh, auxiliary shields. Permanently reduce Phoenix's maximum health by 10%. Ah, But increase shield capacitor shield by 20%. Yay! Basic attacks regenerate shields equal to... Oh. Choose a talent. I feel no enemy. <laughs> This one is really good. Choose a talent. 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 Best defense is a good offense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, this one is the best, hands down. Maybe you go blink. Auxiliary shields, okay, moving on. Offensi of offensive cadence. Every third basic attacks against heroes while repeater cannon is active deals an additional... <laughs> <laughs> Choose a talent. Really? Giant killer on the third hit. That's really good for a champ like this. Without hesitation. Of the target's maximum health, not just boss. Power to the is Wait, not just heroes, but it doesn't seem to work. It's not working. Oh, sorry, sorry, I read bad, I read bad. Against heroes, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, that's really good. Now let's look at the Choose next. Choose a talent. Excellent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Photonic weaponry. Phoenix deals 15% more damage while he has a shield. <laughs> Choose a talent. That's 
That's damage across the board. That also counts on this Choose heroic. A talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Blended Cracker deals 230 damage every half second. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Wait, it slows? Well done. Oh no 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 no! Why? Oh, he got slowed because he freaking blade dashed. Anyway, you get the fifteen percent spell power, the more damage when you cast this, because you always have shields while you freaking do this from the core. Always fifteen percent. <laughs> well, that was rather entertaining. This is so cool. Will be the next to fall. Okay. Uh, and that's uh, anytime you have shield. So this one that gives you a tiny shield every time you do an auto attack. Just a tiny shield. One auto attack, you get a bit of shield. You once again have the condition reached for your photonic weaponry. Phoenix's basic attacks reduce his ability cooldowns by half a second. Oh, okay. So you get... Wait. Okay, so you get more blinks and more plasma cutters. But the, the real question is, does this mean instant switch between attack modes? Because as you can see right now, it takes half a second to switch. So maybe you can have a disco show. No, because you need to attack. Yeah. No, that doesn't make sense. You need to attack. Ah, forget it. Forget it. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go to level 20. Hitting an enemy hero with Plasma Cutter fires a Purification Salvo Missile at them after half a second, dealing 189 damage. Deals 50% increased damage to slow targets. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. They're always going to be slowed, unless they get cleansed. Because you just slowed them with Plasma Cutter. The CD reduction works for alt? What do you mean? What CD reduction? Oh, right, right, okay. Choose a talent. 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 Acquiring targets. The color is my strength. Wow. It works for all. Good point, ladies and gents. It's all abilities. What's this mounted speed? That's the same for every hero. 130. Okay. It works for heroics. Yeah. So we, we figured out secondary fire. Now singularity charge. Repeater cannon grants 200% more attack speed. <laughs> hey, this is the level, this is the Dragoon upgrade from the Cybernetic score in StarCraft 1. So now my attack speed is a very, wait, 200% more attack speed. 222? From... From what? 187. 200% more. And if, oh, okay. Yeah, it's not as good as you think it is. It doesn't triple it. Wait. 150. Oh, from 150 to 200. 50% more. Not. Okay. Yeah, because the baseline is 150. 
I mean, I thought we were talking about 350%. Imagine if you got a thousand bonus damage at the level seven at three and a half times the attack speed. That would be in mean, the wording. Yeah, I mean, it's multi-interpretable. Okay, 50% more on, the, on my baseline of 0.74. So basically, 38, what, 37? 0.37 attacks per second more is basically what they mean but that's still really cool uh or more range in your uh in your uh cool mode so okay we now have hanzo range it's pretty good okay or I see, I see, I see, I see. Cool stuff, really good. Or Unconquered Spirit, after taking fatal damage, shield capacitor regains 1379 uh, uh, shields. What's the use of shields if you're dead? No, it, they mean it's gonna keep you alive. But the funny thing is, when you take fatal damage, you're dead. The meaning of the word fatal, right? So do I get one HP? Then I'm not fatal. This effect has a two minute cooldown. But it doesn't say you'll stay at one HP. It's a bit weird, but okay, Choose a talent. fine. It's just me. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. It's just me, right? I, it's my defense. Oh yeah, non-buildings. Yeah, one HP regenerating. Okay. That's uh, that's awesome. So if you are in need of some survivability, you get the uh, you get the shields. Okay, cool. That's Phoenix. Let's go play a game. You can hold down right click and press A repeatedly to perfectly start to step with this arrow. Oh, right. Wow. But I don't think so easy. But it feels clunkier. I don't think I'll do it that way. But it's easy to do, yeah. That's a great way to stutter step. Because if you don't, uh, it doesn't always seem to work. Wait. It doesn't always work for the most part it works but uh, i prefer to not do it that way but that's cool 